Hi guys, so today I'm going to give you my review on this crock pot. The box says crock pot, the original slow cooker. And what comes in the box are, you have two pamphlets. Okay, this one gives you all the info on your crock pot. You, it's just a pamphlet you fold out and has a lot of information. So make sure that um, you read through it all before you start using your crock pot. There's a few recipes in there as well. Then you have this other little pamphlet do not lock lid while cooking and it shows you what they mean but I'll also show you in a few what they're talking about and actually show it to you okay so just read through it before you start using your crock pot okay this is the base the base has your digital timer in front it has nice handles nice good size handles Okay, and this is what the base looks like inside. Okay. What goes in your base is your six quart oval stoneware. It's a nice, good size. And it just, it's convenient and easy for washing as well because you're able to remove it. The lid. Here's the lid, has latches on both ends. And if you look at the lid, it has this rubber strip going all the way around. And this is gonna help prevent spills. If you're going to travel with it or take your meal to a banquet, this is gonna help. Okay, let me show you what that looks like when you lock it. So make sure the lid is on right. Okay, you're going to take these little metal parts out and you're going to put them over these little black hook looking little parts and then you're going to bring up these black latches and you're going to push forward. Okay, that locks it from the base to the top. Okay, it's sealed. Okay. Actually pretty good seal. You just have to make sure your lid is on right. Let me. There we go. Okay. Okay, push forward. Okay, yeah, that's better. So just make sure your lid is on right so it gets a good seal. Okay, and like I said, it's from the base to the top. So when you're traveling, it's not going to spill when you have it in your car. Okay, to unlatch it, you're going to pull these black parts out, out, and up. Okay, the pamphlet that they were talking about while you're cooking, you don't ever want to lock it. This is locked, so you don't ever want to lock it while you're cooking. Okay, this is only like when you're going to travel with this pot in the car that's when you want to lock it okay but never while cooking so let's unlatch it this is when you're cooking that's what your latches should look like they should be up on top and you should be able to move your lid okay it's actually a really nice crock pot like I said the stoneware is a six quart oval it will feed seven or more people depending on what meal you're making my kids eat sick, and so that's why I say that. Um, and then also when you're going to take your meal to a banquet or a get-together, okay, it has the latches. It has the rubber seal going around the lid. And my favorite part, the digital timer. When you're going to cook a meal, you, I'll show you in a minute. But real quick, I want to show you my old crock pot. Here's my old crock pot. Yes, it does have the stoneware that comes out. It's pretty small, but look at the front. You have off, low, and high. It doesn't have an auto shut off. <laughs> so, this is a really nice upgrade. To be able to set your timer and it 
automatically shut itself off and go to the warm setting. So that's really nice. Okay, I am going to, sorry, I got my lentils ready. I'm going to um, put my lentils in here. Try to get them all out. Okay, so not only is the crock pot good for meals, but I am cooking a good amount of lentils for food prep. I'm going to cook them, let them cool down, and then separate them in freezer bags so I have them ready to go during the next few weeks. For me, that's easy. And this is going to come in very handy, not just for my meals, but also for my food prep. So, like, say you want to cook all your chicken for the next two weeks. You're going to cook a big batch of chicken. You're going to let it cool down, separate it, and put it in your freezer bags. So, there's a lot of benefits to this crock pot. I really like it, and I this is why I like it, too. Because I'm, I'm going to be able to set it and forget, forget it, and it's going to switch to warm. So, this is a real big plus for me. So definitely will be coming in handy and I'm definitely going to be using it a lot. Like I said, today I'm using it for food prep, getting my lentils cooked, letting them cool down, separating them. So if I'm going to use it as a side, I get my bag out from the freezer, let it thaw out and it'll be ready to use. Okay, so I'm going to pour the water in. I'm not necessarily going to use all this water. I'm just going to put enough to cover all of it. Then it will be too much liquidy. Let me put a little more. Okay, so I'm going to cook them for... I'm going to cook them for 6 hours on low. I might have to adjust the time, but I'll, I'll check it towards the last hour and see if they're done or almost done. Okay, so you're going to put your water and I've already got my lentils in there and I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to add some seasoning but I'll go ahead and show you guys what comes next. Okay, I'm not going to lock it. Remember that. Okay, so let me zoom up here so you guys can see. Okay, I'm going to show you the buttons real quick. You've got your select button and then the up and down arrows to choose how many hours you want. You have your high over here and your low. These are just going to light up as well as the keep warm and your off button. Okay, so I said I'm going to cook this for six hours. So I'm going to go ahead and press select. And it's on low. Now, if I w didn't want low and I wanted high, I'm just going to press it again. Okay, but I'm going to go back to low. Oops. Actually, this this is where if you just, you're taking it somewhere. You're, you're taking your meal somewhere for a get-together. And you get there and it needs to be warmed up or you want to keep it warm. You're going to get there and you're going to press... You're going to keep pressing select until you get to the keep warm, and that's it. You're going to leave it like that. Okay, so, but I need to go to low. So there we go. So as you can see, select will take you to low, high, or keep warm. But I need low. And then now I need to press these arrows and get to six hours. Okay, there are six hours. Okay, and so once you get to the time that you want, you're not going to you're not going to push any other button. That's all you need to do. You'll see it change in a minute.
And after the, the six hours is up, I'll come back and show you guys. Actually, I'll, I'll post the picture of what my, how my lentils, how my lentils turned out. Okay, I'm just checking something real quick. Okay, so I think that is just five minutes, so I'm going to keep going. No. Let me see what it does. Hmm. Okay. I was checking something to be sure. Okay, so it's back at six hours, and you are just going to leave it at that. And right now, you'll see the time start changing, so you'll know it's working. And I, it's already getting warm. It's already getting warm. So once the six hours is up, it will switch to keep warm. Okay, so if you're out running errands, no worries. After the six hours, it will shut off and switch itself, automatically go to keep warm. And you'll see that light up at the end of the time cycle. I think it, the time has to stay there for at least a minute before it knows that's the time that you want. Okay, so don't get impatient and start pressing buttons. Just leave it and then you'll see. Okay, there you go. See it change time. Okay, so it will stay there till the end of the cycle and automatically switch to keep warm. Okay, so I will upload a picture of what my lentils look like at the end. I'm going to add a few seasonings and then cover it back up and let it and leave it for the remainder of the time. But like I said, overall, very nice crock pot. Very convenient. It's got the six quart washable stoneware. It easily comes out. You got your lid that will latch from the base to the top. You got your lid that will there we go. You got your your um your lid that will clump down from the base to the top for easy take and carry. You know, if you have to take your meal to a potluck, that's gonna be easy. And remember, you, you can if it needs to be warm when you get there, then you can get there, plug it up, you're gonna select you press select until you get to the keep warm setting and once it gets to the keep warm setting that's it you don't have to do anything else it will start warming up okay so thank you guys for watching and i will get that picture posted as soon as my lentils are done thanks